The Lord be with you. Thanks so much to the handbells, and they'll have a piece for postlude also. I don't know. Don't you love when you listen to a piece and you know it's getting close to the end, and then there's that final resolution chord? That's where we're at in the, in, with Thanksgiving, isn't it? We're waiting for that final chord of resolution, and hopefully that comes today or tomorrow for you and that you can uh, uh, enjoy a break coming up. Uh, just a reminder, the angel tree in the back, many, many angels have been taken, but there are still some, so if you'd want to get one and maybe over Thanksgiving you'd have time to, to shop a little bit and bring that back next week, that would be wonderful. It is our old friend Mattens who is with us this morning, so uh, we will have that, that comfort, that consistency of God's word washing over us again uh, in, the, in the liturgy of Matins. So page 219, front part of the hymnal, we will sing um, hymn 941 for our, t- our Te Deum this morning, and otherwise everything as, uh, as it flows in Matins. So we'll stand as we worship. <clears throat> O Lord, open my lips. Make haste, O God, to deliver me. Blessed be God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Blessed be God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Please be seated for the hymn. The last stanza is a doxology, and we'll stand for that.
Please be seated. God's word, the epistle reading for this week from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. Now concerning the times and the seasons, brothers, you have no need to have anything written to you, for you yourselves are fully aware that the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night. While people are saying, there is peace and security, then sudden destruction will come upon them as labor pains come upon a pregnant woman, woman, and they will not escape. But you are not in darkness, brothers, for that day to surprise you like a thief. For you are all children of light, children of the day. We are not of the night or of darkness. So then, let us not sleep as others do, but let us keep awake and be sober. For those who sleep, sleep at night, and those who get drunk are drunk at night. But since we belong to the day, let us be sober, having put on the breastplate of faith and love, and for a helmet, the hope of salvation. For God has not destined us for wrath, but to obtain salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, so that whether we are awake or asleep, we might live with him. Therefore, encourage one another and build one another up, just as you are doing. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Thanks be to God. Forever, O Lord, your word is firmly set in the heavens. Blessed are those who hear the word of God and keep it. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. We turn now to the hymnic version of the Te Deum, hymn 941. We'll stand as we sing.
We continue with the prayers on page 227. We sing together the Kyrie, the call for God's mercy as we pray. Following each petition of the prayers we speak, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Almighty and ever-living God, you have given exceedingly great and precious promises to those who trust in you. Dispel from us the works of darkness and grant us to live in the light of your Son, Jesus Christ, that our faith may never be found wanting through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Gracious Father, hear our prayers this day. On behalf of those who look to you, help us support well and encourage each other, even in these difficult, busy days as with the end of the semester approaches. Lord, be with any who are especially struggling or feeling overwhelmed. Bring them to you. Bring them to know the comfort that is in you and the hope and peace in Jesus, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Gracious Father, as many start soon to undertake travel, we pray that you would grant safe travel, that you would give joyful gatherings for many who travel over Thanksgiving, that you would give good homecomings and, and the chance to be thankful and to uh, be with those who you have given us to journey through life with. Lord, we pray also for those places in the world that are so troubled for the Ukraine, for Israel, for many other parts of the world where there are conflicts. Lord, we pray a peace that would pass all understanding that could come. Guard those who are in harm's way. Grant safety to all who are in those troubled areas. Console those who've suffered loss. Heal the injured according to your will and bring peace at last. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty, everlasting God, you've safely brought us to the beginning of this day. Defend us in the same with your mighty power and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings being ordered by your governance may be righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Let us bless the Lord. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all.